San Diego Valley versus Seton Catholic Central in the packed House of Rock. And of course, the cheerleaders are there to support their Warriors as they face off against the Saints, one of Stack's best. It proved to be the best game so far this year. We start the action early from Mullins to Bobel to Hall in the paint. Tommy gets a bucket and tries to pump up the crowd. This time, Mullins takes his own number and drives for the hoop and gets a little scoop layup, making the Saints look foolish on that play. Chris Boyce inbounds the ball to Eric Bidwell. The nice pull up two, and the Warriors pile it on in the first. This time it's Mullins to Boyce, downtown. Mullins would do quite a bit in this game here, going baseline and just laying it in, just like he always does. It's Mac to Mullins, and one for Matt Mullins. Big time points. 18 for the night to be exact, and the Warriors go up. Now, Andy Fox, he's a point guard, so he likes to take the ball from one side of the court and do stuff like that. You know, two defenders, no problem for Andy Fox, the point guard, a sophomore. This time he's inbounding the ball. Uh, can you say pump fake? Chris Mack, downtown. I, I wish I could do stuff like that. This time it's Mullins who makes a drive, but luckily Hall is there in the paint to finish it off for Shenangle Valley. It was tense in the fourth. After this play, the Warriors would tie the game at 39-39 from Mullins to Bobel. Mullins would lead an assist, by the way, for the night, as you can see. No surprise there. It's Chris Mack with a pull-up jumper, and the Warriors get the lead over the Seton Catholic Central Saints. It's Mullins and won a crucial three-point play for Mullins, and the Warriors are well ahead of the Saints. Only by two baskets, but it's enough in this game. It's Nick Wan getting in on the action for Seton Catholic Central, closing the gap with a nice jumper right there. And it's Matt Meyer downtown, a long range three to close the gap even more. When Chris Ferner gets the rebound from a Chris Mack miss, it's all over for the Warriors. As after this bucket, it's 48 to 56 Seton Catholic Central. The Warriors would eventually lose 52 to 62. For the Warrior Report, I'm Jared Crank. Go Warriors. Jump up, jump up and get down.